Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Now, today, I, well, it was actually yesterday, I think it was, I was out in Tesco, which is one of our supermarkets, I've been in a few recently, and I found this stuff here, by Sam Yang, it's all in Korean, Baldak, Baldak. Yeah, it looks like baldak to me. So, it's hot chicken flavoured ramen from Korea. So, let's see if we can get this stuff opened up. I don't really look, see what we see is there. Right. Uh, better get a knife out for that. And we'll go. Try and get into the plastic somehow. There we go, the plastic. Right, what I've also to do is pop the kettle on. And we'll come back up here. Open here. You pull it back halfway, apparently. Take out the wee sashes. That. Ooh. That looks quite scary. It's in red. I've got. Oh. It's kind of like grass in there, but I don't know if you see what it is. Because my Korean is very limited. Very limited. In fact, it goes far as to say it's non-existent. That sounds like the kettle boiling. Almost there. Okay, one boiled kettle. Now, there's a full line in here somewhere. There it is. Which is there. And then, apparently, we fold that back over. Give it four minutes. I'll put something on there just to hold it down. And I'll be back. Right, well that's been, it says four, it's been about five minutes there. Let's have a wee look at it. Ooh! So I'll throw you in there. It's all looking good. It's all thingied up. I'm going to give it a wee stir around. Like so. Now on the top of this, it's got, you can see there, I have to poke holes in it. Poke. Pairs you poke. So, we'll pop that there. Poke a wee hole in like that. Because what I have to do next is drain off all the water. Now, this could be interesting. Anything could happen. You'll see my sink here, which shows up. I've still got some washing up to do. That's not bad. I'll leave it like that because I like a wee bit of. I don't like these things too dry. So, apparently, I have to pull that. And then get this sauce somehow. I'll squeeze it all down a bit so I can get some space here. Let's show us tear here. Hmm, that smells alright actually. And then pull it like that. And I always give it a refold. Like so. And then give it a squeeze. Wipe in what's left there. That can go in the bucket. That's what it looks like in there. Now I'm going to give it a good stir up. Like 
So. Hmm. Looks somewhat evil now. Thankfully it's almost Halloween. But whew, take some of the heat's hit that and the smell. I wonder if this is gonna be another chilly moment. So I've got the this stuff. I'm gonna have a look at it. If it's something that I don't fancy, it's not going in. If it's like bits of grass or whatever. Can't get into it. There we go. Oh. more like seaweed. What the heck? Let's stick it in. And sesame. It's seaweed and sesame seeds. That's not bad. I like seaweed, I like sesame. Let's stick that in there like that. Right. Put my scissors back, put that in the bucket. Now, as Arnie always says, I'm going to go sit somewhere a bit comfier and I'll be back. Right, I'm back. I've come to sit in the conservatory. Oh, you boy. You see how this is actually stained the inside? That looks evil. Let's get a wee selfie with this stuff. Or... Right. The smell of it... Let's just say, interesting. Now, I don't usually eat my ramen or my noodles like that, or that uh, dry. I like them very, very wet, so I can sip it like a tea. Can anyone tell that I'm actually putting this off trying it? Oh well. Sorry tongue, but here we go. Okay, it's a grower. That's quite warm. It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. It's tasty. It's definitely got a bit of a kick. I'll give it that much. I just remember, I think, what it's like. It's, uh, it's kind of like a bitter heat on it. As if you've just chewed a chilli. But not a really hot one. So, is it, it's got a kick. It does have a kick. It's got a bit of a tingle on the old tongue. But it's nice. I like something a bit of kick to it. You need something that will get you going. A second mouthful. It's not really changed at any... If anything, you get more used to it. It's almost like it's cooling down in my mouth now. So it's generally that first bite that I feel, you know, you actually get the whoo feeling. This was, this was a nice feeling. You can feel the chilies in it. You can feel the wee bit, you can feel the heat there on your tongue. The rest of my mouth is fine. It's just my tongue. Um, yeah, I like this. I think it was a pound for a tub of it. A 
I'll tell you something that tangles up like nothing on earth. But it's so good. It's got a nice taste to it. The heat is there. There is heat. I won't lie about that. There is a bit of heat there. But it's not uncomfortable. You can definitely feel it tingling. The tongue's... It's not on fire, but it's... It's, got, it's, the, it's the bitterness of it more than anything. Hmm, that is really nice. I'll definitely be getting that again. Um, but if it's sweeter, it'd be nice. Nice, sir. I like a, a sweet heat. That's definitely got a bit of a tingle to it. <coughs> but, in case it was too hot, I actually brought some chocolate out. This is an old Easter egg I had that I broke up. That instantly takes away any of the sting. Hmm. Any excuse for some uh, chocolate, eh? I will happily take it. So, I'm going to toddle off just now. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a wee short one there. Um, whew, actually, I can, I can feel that in my, in my lips now. And I've still got a wee tingle even though I put some chocolate on it. It was definitely a grower. First mouthful was good. It was nice, bit of taste. Then you felt the bitterness of the chilli. Um, it just kind of holds. It's not, it's not painful. But it's a nice ooh in your mouth there. Ooh. How does it go? Ooh. Yeah, that's tasty. Definitely be having more of them again. So, I hope you're all keeping well out there. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Hit the wee bell, it'll let you know when uh, I'm putting more of these up. If you like it, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. It'll just let YouTube know that I'm doing something right. And hopefully I will see you all again very, very soon. Take care. See ya.